you're seeing here is actual footage from the violence that erupted before dawn this morning. These seemingly coordinated reality attacks were reported throughout Federation territory, prompting government officials to consider this movement an act of terrorism. The response to these realians has been... Oh. There's been a new development. As internal agencies continue to analyze these violent events, a flash action report within the Federation and obtained by this station indicates that only realian models created within the last two years or those receiving adjustments in the Milshan star system have been implicated. Although this is not a complete list, we have obtained a partial list of units matching these criteria. This list includes DZ-1006448, DZ-2000330, DZ-1001007. Today was just the beginning of the ensuing violence. These realian outbreaks are spreading like wildfire. They'll be reading off plenty more model numbers in the media tomorrow. I can assure you. So, what does that have to do with the operation? I'd like to know why I was chosen for this mission. I'm told that the military has detained all of its realians. I find it difficult to believe that they don't have any misgivings about us. Kanan, you're a realian who's been especially created and configured by Vector itself. I've been given the CEO's personal guarantee that you won't be affected like the others. Besides, no ordinary pilot could possibly control your craft. That makes you very vital to the operation. I don't believe you two have been properly introduced yet. This is Chaos. He'll be joining you on board as your navigator. I appreciate the offer. But you may want to reconsider. A regular human can't ride in that thing. Right. That's why I'm here. Don't worry. All right, it's settled then. Good luck to both of you. As mentioned in the briefing, this is a top secret mission. All IFF code transmitters will be switched off and under no circumstances will you receive backup from this vessel. You'll have to manage your descent and return on your own. You can expect heavy resistance from both UTIC enemy craft and Federation military units deployed throughout Milsha. It's going to be dangerous, so watch yourselves out there. Don't worry. I'm coming back. Operator, requesting confirmation. We are to head to point NN441, correct? Correct. The URTV force is currently deployed at the target location. Your primary objective is to retrieve them. Protecting them should be your first priority. All of them? Affirmative. If the situation allows, you will then infiltrate UTIC's mother frame and acquire the Y data, the root of this conflict. Roger. We'll do what we can. ES Asher, startup sequence complete. Requesting launch. Launch request confirmed. Now guiding ES Asher to deck B. Defensive shields deployed. Ready when you are. Roger. Initiating launch procedure. Good luck. Passing through the troposphere. Outer hall temperature returning to normal. Adjusting descent path by 0.22. This should get us closer to our target. 
Approach warning. Incoming craft detected. They're on an intercept course. There are... We'll take them all out. Stop counting and take control of the shields. We'll use the shockwave to gain an advantage on them. You've got control of the weapons. Roger. It looks like they're unmanned. With no G-force limit, they can outmaneuver us. They might pull some crazy moves out there, so be careful. It just makes them all the more predictable. There's no end to these guys. And we don't have much ABR energy left either. Let's find some place to set it down. destroyed. It's true. You really are as good as they say. How are you handling the feedback? You know, a normal person would have probably passed out by now. I don't want you jeopardizing the mission. I'm fine. It feels like it's had some special tuning, but that just makes it more interesting. I see. Well, if I get anything unusual from you, I'm cutting the bypass to the navigator immediately. I can operate this thing fine by myself. Roger. Looks like we're pretty far out from our objective. Plus, I'd say the defensive network we saw on the way down takes out the idea of an airborne approach. We'll go by ground, then. Fortunately, the rubble from the burned-out buildings should provide us enough cover to cross the city unnoticed. Agreed. We'd better get moving. We don't have much time. Not much time? Does this have something to do with the URTVs? Those designer children? Mm-hmm, yes. That's right. We need to protect them from the coming crisis. If and when it occurs. You do realize that's a different story from what I heard in my official briefing. No doubt. As the Federation government special forces, the URTVs were sent in ahead of the invasion. I'm sure you understand what they represent in the conflict against the UTIC organization. Right. I understand that their bioweapons sent in to sever the link between the UTIC's mobile weapons fleet and their source of power, the Zohar. The higher-ups have complete confidence in the URTVs. They are the military's trump card. Unfortunately, the brass are also blind to the potential dangers of the URTVs. Fascinating. I hadn't realized the situation was so desperate.
exactly are we expecting to happen here? Well, the problem is that the URTVs aren't merely machines. They're real people with their consciousness intact. The system that currently controls the Zohar was actually designed to be used for the UMN transport system. However... Yes. Well, they experimented with the transport of living beings numerous times, but every attempt ended in failure. According to the records, 99.76% of them were killed instantly. However, it seems that on very rare occasions, there were survivors. They didn't exist as people anymore, though. They were just things, never able to recover their consciousness, the very element that made them human. Mental breakdown. Lieutenant General Helmer concluded that if contact with the system led to the destruction of the human mind, then even the URTVs created as the system's antithesis might be affected. Therefore, if the URTVs were to suffer a mental breakdown, then likely the Zohar, a source of infinite energy, would spiral out of control. That would be devastating. And yet, the general staff decision wasn't overturned. I suppose that's where we come in. Is it a pillar of light? And that sound. It's more than that. Music. It's the song of Nephilim. You know what it is? I can't believe it. Even you, Tick, has to be aware of the danger of the song. What could possibly make them... This keeps up. It looks like they think we're the enemy. Any ideas? Yes, yeah, send an emergency IFF signal to let them know we're on their side. We can't let anything stop us. We have to reach our objective. They should be receiving our IFF signal. Wait. Something's wrong. What is this? What the? What's going on with them? This is...
Is he with us? I don't know. But he's broadcasting an IFF. Attention, unidentified craft. I've received your IFF signal. The other crafts have been tainted, but you seem unaffected. Are you an ally? Well, it looks like this one's still sane. What do you think? Getting out of here is our first priority right now. I think we should stick together. Agreed. Confirmed. IFF signal accepted. Stand by. I will now eliminate the affected Federation unit. <laughs> I guess that pilot is just as effective on foot as he is in his craft. Truly amazing. Thanks for the assist. And you're? I am Captain Jin Uzuki. You don't look like you're with the regular forces. Well, whoever you are, if you're still operational, I advise you to leave. This place affects people. Some stop being people altogether. They stop being people? Unfortunately, we can't leave. Not until we've completed our mission. Your mission? Forgive us, Captain. I am Chaos. And this is Kanan. I suspect that you're part of the landing operation, aren't you? Do you know where the URTV force is now? If so, URTVs? Ah, the special units, said to possess an anti udu retrovirus. Our mission is to protect them. Please, if you know where they are, tell us. Hmm. Well, this is quite a coincidence. Although it's more than that. Fate, perhaps. In any case, I will take you. <laughs> 